copy of this, y'all have a really great advantage because y'all can write in your books, right? Mm -hmm. I didn't think about that. Oh, okay. Well, from I now on, you can write in there, you can highlight, okay? So, you guys have already read Chapter 3, and what I want us to do is, during this point, I want us to talk about any words that we need to have clarified, or any questions that y'all came up with while we were reading, or while y'all were reading, okay? All right, does any, we'll start on page 14, which is the beginning of our chapter three. Anybody have any words they need clarified? Um, I have this one, but then I think it was much time. I can't remember. Okay, how did you clarify that? Like, at first I couldn't figure it out because of how it was written. Okay, because it was written in um, italics? Okay. I think I wrote this wrong, but um, I clarified Fort Tog or something. Yeah, okay. Do you know what page that's on? Right okay. Do you know what page that's on? By chance, did you put a page number? No, I forgot. To. Okay. Well, if we come across it while we're going through, I want you to stop us. Okay. Perfect. Um, shadow. Um, showdown. Good. I think I think showdown means fight because you usually need backup to fight, and I saw that you needed some backup because. It said, Natalie and I were um, headed for a showdown with Bert Umber, but first we need, needed some backup. You did an excellent job. You used your text evidence. You used context clues to help you with that. That is awesome. I want you to highlight for me so I remember to get you a ticket. Okay, that was good thinking. Anybody else at the beginning of the chapter? Okay. I don't think so. Okay. I wrote down some words, but I don't think we'll for worse. Mm -hmm. Okay, so as we go through, if you guys come across those, we'll take care of that. Um, more or less, we know that they're headed out to find oh, who. I, yes, I clarified detention. Yes, you detention. Did. Detention. Look at that word. Very good part. Detection. Very good. Detection. You clarified it. How did you clarify it? Well, I don't, my mom, I asked my mom if I could go to write it down. Okay, um, highlight it. I knew it was a uh, studying or like the private eye, like looking before he does something. Like he's thinking about it before he does, like he just barges in and Oh, so he's, he doesn't want to be detected. He wants to stay undercover. Yes. Because what is Chet Gecko? He's a... Yes, very good. So you use some background knowledge with that and knowing a little bit about detectives, right? Yes. Good, good. Okay, so we know that they're headed out to find who? Bert Umber. Okay, and what do we know about him? He's, He's a roughneck. He's a roughneck? Yes. Bert Umber is a roughneck in Courtney Wilson. Yeah. Oh, and it's a dot sister. A dot sister's book. Okay. Do what? So far, all of our characters have been an animal. Mm -hmm. What do we know about him? <coughs> is he? Is he in? He's what? That you know that he's not a number. Okay. We don't. Yes, we know that he. Um, his name's not really going to help us, is it? figure out what he is. Mm -hmm. So what are we going to have to do? We're going to have to read on. We're going to have to read on. Okay, very good. So what we're going to, let's see here, we need to go to page um, 16. Let's start on page 16. Let's start at the top. Okay, and remember it's Chet Gecko and he's got his back up with him. Oh, you have a question. Okay. Yeah. I said, why would he be talking in a deep voice? Maybe it was him trying to hide. Oh, he's talking in a deep voice. Uh, uh, it says... Is it Bert Uber? Um, yes, Bert. Mm-hmm. Bert Uber? I repeated louder. Yeah. A deep voice rumbled behind me. Who vents him? So I was wondering why we talked in a deep voice. Mm, so do you think that might be a characteristic of this? Yes, he would be yes. in a deep voice. Maybe he did in a form that a roughneck may talk in a deep voice. Ooh, so you're going to infer that a roughneck is going to talk.
talk in a deep voice. Very good. Pam, that's some good questioning because you just helped us all kind of better understand our character of um, Bert. And remember, he's the marmot. Y'all look at me like I'm crazy. What's the title of our chapter? Um, Strong Armand, a marmot. Mm. A marmot? Maybe that's like what he is. Oh. Because it's been telling, like, mostly their last names, what they are, mm. but. Here it does, it does it. And, uh, that's right. The, the good job, right? Tracker, I forgot. Okay, good. Okay, so can, are we ready to move on, or do you have yes. any questions? Okay. So we're at the top of page 16. And they have found Bert Uber. Okay, because he says, yeah, who wants, who wants me? Okay, who wants me? So y'all look at the, look at the top um, of that page 16. And in the first paragraph, will y'all read that with me? Checking, Checking over, over one, one shoulder, shoulder I, I found, found myself eye to eye with a furry elbow. elbow. Up, uh, up, 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 I looked. He was a slick marmot with the usual assortment of muscles under a glossy blonde belt. Are there any words in there that we need to clarify? Brooke? Highlighted. You guys get your highlighters and let's see if there's any words that we have in common. I have a clue what he is. Where is that? It's the first paragraph. Marmot, and I don't know how it's even felt. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah, too. I wrote down yeah. felt. I have a, on this one I forgot to say. After um, present, couldn't really pronounce it. Fuzzy. I Can you jump on a trampoline? What is that? The trampoline. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Let's see what words. Do we have any words in the first sentence? No. Okay. I want you to imagine what's happening here. I found myself eye to eye. So he's looking straight at a furry elbow. A furry elbow means. So who does that furry elbow belong to? Um, um, Bert. 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 Okay, so we know his elbow is furry. furry. So okay. it's kind of so so it's up, furry animal. Up, up, up. So he What's knows that mean? he's tall okay. he's and up. he has fur, so that breaks it down to more. Okay, so we're, are we getting more information about our character? Yeah. Yes. So on her, Okay, yep, um, in, in your character, you Big guys can make animal. he's hairy, fuzzy animal. We're getting more clues about what a marmot is. That's great. I like how y'all are reading carefully and understanding. And he's really tall. He's very tall. Good. Tall. Okay. Let's go to that next sentence. Please. Will y'all read with me? He was a slick marmot with the usual assortment of muscles under a glossy blonde pelt. Wow. What's a pelt? Okay, good question. What's a pelt? I think it's maybe like a buckle or something like that. Okay. So you thought they were... So um, Alexis thought they were pelting him, like hitting him with things. But she's like, no, that's not the way it's used here. So that's a great, great clarification. What do you think, Cam? I think it means, like, if you, like, skin a deer, you'll get the deer's pelt. Okay. So that's what I think. That's what I think it means. And there's hair on the pelt. Okay. So and we already know that he has a what? Furry elbow. Furry elbow. Furry Furry elbow. elbow. Good I think, connections. I thought it was like, you know how people have scope? I thought it was like an uh, animal's scope. They just used it like that. Like they skinned an animal? Yeah. Okay. That would kind of go with what Cam was saying. Yeah. 
about a, a deer pelt, okay, or a deer hide, okay? Look, instead of using pelt, let's substitute it with skin. Skin, okay? So let's let's see. He was a slick marmot with the usual assortment of muscles under a glossy blonde skin. What is what is skin. blonde? Blonde is a color. Blonde a color of what? Hair. So, could it be skin? No. Okay. What else could we use instead of skin? Hair. Okay. Like Y'all read with me. And we're gonna for pelt. We're gonna put skin, or we're gonna put um, hair. He was a slick marmot with the usual assortment assortment of muscles under a glossy blonde hair. A fur coat? Like a fur that coat. Might sound like better. Muscles yeah. under a glossy blonde fur coat. That one sounds Does that sound better? Yeah. yeah. You could also maybe put hide. Hide. A glossy blonde hide. Yeah. Okay, so we've concluded that pelt means you kind of? Like, no, no. they're fur. Fur, or their hair. It's their fur, right? Yeah. Okay, good job, guys. So, pelt, we just clarified that. Make sure you have that wrote down. Pelt, and you guys remember, you can write in your books or write on a sticky note. What does pelt mean? Fur coat. Good. This helps us better understand and be able to put a picture of him in our minds. What's under that fur coat? Skin. No, uh, it What's says muscles. 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 An assortment of muscles. It, it means a lot. like Good. a lot. Yeah. So he's pretty muscular, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. He's pretty tall, big. Is it is very muscular? Muscular. It and sounds, sounds like it's describing a monster. <laughs> the monster. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Wow, that was just that first paragraph, but do we have a better understanding of mm. what he looks like yeah. and yeah. Okay. Let's see here. Any words that we need to clarify for you guys on the rest of page 16? Um, <gasps> no? no? Any more questions? I don't think so. Okay. Do you think it was a good idea that Chet took backup? Yes. Because he's really muscular and big. Yes. Mm -hmm. like he that. knew so he he was going to take on. It's very intelligent. Older than him. So mm -hmm. he thought maybe he was going to do something. Mm -hmm. And that's what I was talking about here. He was thinking through it. He was thinking through it. Okay. Very good. Mm -hmm. That's an important characteristic of a detective, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yes. Very good. You have a question? On where? I, I was going to say, does assortment really mean what? Lots of muscular muscles under it. So let's go back. He was a slick marmot with the usual assortment, with the usual lots of muscles. Now, if we substituted that, because that's like a context clue strategy we use, the lots wouldn't work. So what's assortment mean? Cam, what do you think? I think it can be kind of be like sorting. Sorting? What happens? I'm going to take it out of context here. Um, on Valentine's Day, we get an assortment of chocolate candies in a Valentine heart. Oh, like what does that mean? Um, a mixture. Get, mm. A mixture. A mix. Or a of, ton. Can you use a mixture of with usually I think a mixture like of muscles. And Are all of those chocolate candies going to be the same? No. no. They're different kinds. So let's, can we try, what do you think we can substitute in there? Okay, let's try that. Was a slick marmot with the usual different of muscles? The usual mixture of The usual mixture of muscles. Mixture. So does that mean he's got... Like, it doesn't mean different kinds, it just means like bigger or small. Oh, okay. So it's just not one location, like Cam said, they're all over the place. Yeah. Like it's not just here, this is this it's, it's a mixture, they're everywhere. Here. Okay, good, good job. You guys are clarifying even more.
about him. Okay. Um, any words or questions, any clarifications or questions for 17, page 17? Yes, ma'am. Um, I got stuck on the word, what is it? Clairol? Yeah. Okay. I didn't know what it meant. Okay. Um, it's back on page 16. It's in the second paragraph. Will you guys put your finger on that second paragraph for me? Okay. On page 16. Shall so y'all read that with me? Yes. I like how Cam highlighted. Blonde isn't a natural color for marmots. I suspected Bert and Lady Clara were on the first were on a first name basis. Hmm. Okay, me and my mom uh Clarified this uh, okay. because she knew what Lady Clara was. Well, what did mom say Lady Clara was? It's actually, it's like a hair coloring. Uh -huh, that's what I said. I said it was a hair coloring. Uh -huh, very good. Unless you dye your hair or mom dyes your hair or dyes her hair, you really don't know what Lady Clara means because it's a brand. Uh -huh. So you had to have some background knowledge or you had to have somebody help you with that. If that's what my mom used to put. Okay, so y'all y'all have an idea of what dyeing is and what coloring is. Good, good. All right. So, Mom, thumbs up. Do you guys have some text evidence to show that it's a type of dye? Yes. Look in that sentence and because underline your text evidence for me. Color. So they have to do something to get the color. Very good. Mm. I, um, I think like that because it has capital letters. So it's a name of the mm. hair type. Very good for using that. Okay. So where, like Miss Ledsford said, where is your text evidence that tells us that Lady Clara would mean, or could mean that it's like to dye hair? Yeah. He has blonde hair and is a natural color. Okay. okay. Will you underline that for us? Good job. Because if it's not a natural color, then how would you? Get hair like that. Right, that's right. That's very good. Why is it important that we find text evidence? So we know what's going on in the story. So you can clarify it. So we know what's going on. We can clarify. So we can clarify if you don't know a word. Okay. What's, what's another reason we use text understand. evidence? Yeah. So you can understand what you're reading. So we can and, understand. And, and we have proof in the I love it. Yeah. You have proof. Mm -hmm. You have proof that you know what you're just talking about. That is great. And if you have a word you don't know, you just you can just look around for your text evidence. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. Just in that sentence? No. no. You can look. Like you have to look all around. You have was your evidence in that sentence that. with Lady Clarol? Uh -uh. What evidence did you find? Where was the evidence was, you found for Lady Clarol? Oh, it was uh, the it sentence was, yeah, before. It be yeah. So it can be the sentence before. It can be in that sentence. After. After. It can be in a different paragraph. Oh, I love that. It can even be in a different paragraph. Like the one you showed us earlier. I saw you do that. You clarified Very that way. Good. good job. Okay. All right. So, um... Let's keep moving forward. So we took care of Lady Clara. Mm -hmm. Any any other words that we need to clarify with the help of text evidence? I couldn't figure out that one. I figured out it was Heya. Heya. What's he doing there? Hey. What's he doing? Hey. Is he just shouting? Yeah, they're shouting. Mm -hmm. It's probably mm -hmm. like a short version of Hey You. Okay, it could be. Very good. What do we know also about Bert? He, when he speaks. He, he, he has a huge accent. It's really up. Like, you it's, think he's grown up? Because, no, he's in school. Yes, but even mm -hmm. like in when you're like 16 or 17, you, you can, can tell a difference. In okay, book. over here, it, where did it, it told us that he spoke with a muscular. Go back to page 15. No, he spoke with a... Very last sentence. A rumble. A deep voice. Hey, deep voice. Very good. A deep voice. And then notice how he says, instead of who wants me, who wants me. Who vets me. 
Like, I think we discussed it with your substitute. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Otherwise, it was visual. Okay, I can't remember. <laughs> well, let's keep that in mind as we're reading. Oh, that's the exchange student. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Let's move to page 19. Any clarifications or questions there that you guys came up with? Yes, ma'am. Well, um, I was like, why are they? Why do they want a Valentine? Yeah. Okay. Do you remember in chapter two, Chet Gecko gets hired as a detective. What's he get hired to do? He gets hired to bring um, back the Valentine. Well, to make. Isn't it like make sure we get this girl? No, no, to get back. May have just to read on the wrong time. No, the frog knows where the Valentine's is. She sent him to go back and get it. And Who I has the Valentine? Bert. Bert Umbert. And in what? chapter two, um, he gets that. You don't know if he's hiding it at school or in the house. Okay. So does that answer your question, yeah. Abby? Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. If not, you we need to come back and revisit that. Okay. Okay. But uh, Alexis has a word. Hang on just a minute, guys. On page 19. We're at. Highlight it for me, please. I didn't really know what that means. It's the principle. I didn't zero. know if it was an answer. Okay. Very good. So, principle zero is the word that Alexis wants to have clarified. Um. Deb and Cam, I want you guys to talk about what you think that is. Brooke, Abby, and Alexis, I want you guys to talk about what you think Prince, I think principle zero is. Principle zero is the principle name of zero. Yeah. Principle zero. I think principle zero is the principle of the form task. That's the name he worked there because it's in Mr. Zero right here. Yeah. Because it said, says Mr. Zero. Well, whenever it's a principal, it's usually like a principal of a school or yeah, a principal of so like a, a job. A daycare, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so um, I think it would be the principal of evidence. What's your evidence? In school. So we know they're at school? Do you no. have text evidence I'm on here that can help you prove that? Well, we, yes, we have principals. And in our index, we know principal means it's like the head of the school. Okay. Well, what do you think, Kim? Like, it's just that I found something about her. I think she's mad because there's a Mr. Zero. Oh. So, do you think principal zero is a male or female? Female. Do mm -hmm. you think it's a female? It says Mr. So I'm thinking no, but a male. Just to find it. Yeah, because the mm -hmm. girls is Mrs. So or Mrs. Mrs. M R S and Mr. is M R. Yeah, but hey, y'all read that. Let's read that. Those two sentences in that paragraph. Two sentences in that paragraph right there. Read it with me. I squinted up at the foul-tempered fat cat called Principal Zero. We were in for it now. Talk about those words. Okay, so we found out that he is an animal. So he's a fat cat. Okay, so we know that it's a fat cat. Yeah, so we know it's an animal. Okay, what about those sentences you just read? Were there any clues that it might be a principal of the school, like Abby was talking about? Cat cat called me principal zero. We were in for it now. Like, because so, like, the principal can like call your parents or get you expelled. Yeah. What is for in for it now? Like they're in trouble. Like they're in trouble. They're in for it. They're gonna get in trouble now. I had were they gonna get in trouble by? Because like my friends say when my mom calls my whole name, they say. You're gonna get it, so that means you're gonna go beat up. Okay. <laughs> and then I was like, I asked, are they getting? I was questioning. I said, are they gonna get in trouble? Oh, and that's a good, that a good question. Hey, will you do me a favor? Highlight that word, circle it, and see if you can clarify it for me tonight, Alexis. So <coughs> we bring it back to Miss Stouffer tomorrow. That word right there. 
and it's kind of together with this one, right? Mm -hmm. So see if you can give her some hints. See if you can find some text evidence to help you clarify that word. Okay. okay. So principle zero is a fat cat, cat. cat. and a boy. A boy. A boy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or man. I want you to make sure you highlighted that, and I want you to show me your text evidence. Underline what tells us those things that you just told me. Okay. 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 Okay